फार राईट लाईन ये वाला ना ये बात फॉलो कर ओके This is the all new Audi Q3. You can just look at it. It comes with the refreshed, bigger chrome finish grills. You get the LED headlamps with the LED DRLs. Of course, downwards no fog lamp has been given. I don't know why. Maybe the headlamps are so powerful. That's why chrome finish has been given over here, and you get a vent over here. Small space has been given for the airflow. Otherwise, it's a bigger fake vent. Front parking sensors, of course. Downwards you get the radar sensor, chrome finish. Not a chrome finish, but a greyish color skid plates, uh, parking sensors. and on the side you get this 18 inch alloys diamond cut alloys well this is different compared to the german spec and in the german spec you don't get a sunroof panoramic sunroof but in the new audi q3 indian spec you get the panoramic sunroof and you can just see the ground clearance as well well it is little bit dirty because of this q drive event and we had taken this q drive as well and you get the refreshed led tail lamps which is quite different from the audi q3 of the previous generation that is the previous generation and you can just look at the tail lamps of course and you get the rear view camera over here reverse camera whatever you want to say then you also get the parking sensors of course reflectors and other stuff has been given let's check the boot as well yeah it's a powered smart tailgate and this is the boot space which is similar to the previous generation of audi q3 and here you get a storage space with some nets here again a space but here it is little bit deep here it is at the same level and small slot over here i don't know what that tape is doing over here 12 volt 120 watt power outlet over here you cannot detach the seats from the boot side you need to do it from the second row seat only and this is the lock button and this is for closing the tailgate that's beautiful let's check the interiors also wow you get this six way power seats and some stuff over here you can just see beige black interiors with chrome finish over here as well and if you look closely you get a ambient lighting over here that's great chrome finish lock unlock buttons this is a beige with chrome that looks amazing this is the boot button speakers of course and and here is a three spoke sporty steering wheel with the steering mounted controls cruise control paddle shifters and that is the instrument cluster which you can see that there is a navigation over here and you can change it of course wow and the interior looks kind of similar to the audi q8 only difference you find over here is that the infotainment screen here you only get a main infotainment screen rather than two screens for accessing the auto climate control ac here you get a ac buttons rather than the same and ac vents are also kind of a different gear shift of course that's also different and the leg space yeah leg space is also great and even the headroom is great let's quickly check out the rear seats this stuff is similar here only the difference you find the chrome finish door handles which is kind of a different and it is inverted in the reverse l let's just sit in the rear this is the second row seats even the hump over here is quite bigger so it would be difficult for a third person or the middle person to sit over here otherwise the infotainment otherwise the interior looks quite great and that is the panoramic sunroof here is the armrest with twin cup holders far right line we are taking the audi q3 to the q drive experience and since it is a q drive experience we are going to test it on the rumbling roads and even on the steep road just like the off roading hill which uh, the audi team has uh, created today especially for the testing of this cars of course so let us go there currently we are on the rumbling road and even on the rumble roads the car is quite comfortable and it doesn't feel even on the buttocks so it's quite good also so of course suspension is also quite great and uh, the performance is of course okay it's a audi after all so there is no issue in the performance of course but only thing that is missing over here is a diesel engine the all new audi q3 is now being offered in the petrol engine only and um, these cars are actually not meant for the off roading here we go on a plain road and here also the car is performing quite beautifully apart from being a plain road there are small pits or small uh, dirt dunes which are actually seen in the normal road conditions as well so there also the car is passing quite beautifully no uh, jerks or no what we can say lag in that 
so uh, even though it is performing well on this uh, roads but uh, i feel like that uh, it is not meant for the off roading especially the audi cars we have to climb up this slope well this slope is quite steep for the audi q3 uh, but uh, for the other audi cars like the audi q8 and the audi q7 it may be okay because one of my members had tried the audi q8 on this slope but uh, for the cars like the range rover defender then um, this uh, land cruiser jeep grand cherokee the slope is okay and of course the g wagon but it is not good for the audi cars especially this kind of a steep slope well otherwise it's good in the uh, normal road conditions you can of course uh, drive it in the normal road conditions being an audi a performance car it is not meant for the uh, this uh, off roading roads what are your thoughts about this please let me know in the comments below and if you like this video give it a like share and also comment on the video which feature of the new audi q3 you love the most also subscribe to our channel for the exclusive scopes latest car news reviews and more till then bye bye see you in next video